before starting the wave of attacks on the Ukrainian southern port city Odessa in July 2023. Russian military industry modernized P-800 Onyx and KH-22 cruise missiles, now used for nightly shelling. The P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile fired by Bastion Coastal Defense Systems got a general update while the KH-22 was modernized to the more advanced KH-32 version, said the representative of the defense intelligence of Ukraine Vadim Skibitsky in an interview for the Ukrainian TV channel We Ukraine. If we summarize his words, the modernization of both missiles was aimed to upgrade their reliability and accuracy. In the case of the P-800 Onyx, he recalled how in autumn 2022, the Russians often used them to shell Mykolaiv, Odessa, and Kherson regions, there were many explosions but not so many hits. Apparently, after the modernization, Russians decided to renew utilizing Bastion anti-ship missile systems for land attack strikes. The Russians keep their bastion systems in the occupied Ukrainian territory, more precisely in Crimea from where the missiles can reach most of the big cities of Ukraine's south. The P-800 Onyx were used, in particular, during the latest attack on Odessa on the night of July 23. Moving next to the KH-22, intelligence officer Skibitsky noted, the KH-22, essentially, has already become KH-32, i.e. undergone a modernization. This statement implies that the entire or nearly entire arsenal of KH-22 missiles has been upgraded to the KH-32 version, although he did not specify how many missiles it would be. Worth noting, the Ukrainian Air Force in its regular reports usually differentiates the KH-22 from the KH-32, and the recent attacks on Odessa involved KH-22 missiles, as written in those reports. Defense Express earlier outlined the key differences between the KH-22 and its level-up version called KH-32. In short, the latter has an improved engine with better thrust, an updated guidance system based on modern components, and a lesser warhead. There are reports suggesting that Russians had up to 30 missiles of this type before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022. There is no clear data either on what aircraft can carry and launch the KH-32 missile, only the modernized 2.22M3M or the basic 2.22M3 as well.